Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the album "Out from the Dark" by Mayhem. Um, this isn't your typical uh album. It, I I don't know whether to call it a demo album or a compilation album. Uh, but uh, this album contains eight tracks from a, um a 1989 um. Uh, I guess demo, like I said, I, I think this may be considered a demo or um, just rehearsal tracks or whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, all of this was recorded uh, the same year as the Hen House recordings, although um, uh, this does have a lot better audio and uh, a slightly different track listing. Um, anyway, so first up, I'm going to name off the uh, band members really quick. Um, this is the classic uh, Mayhem lineup. Uh, Dead on vocals, of course. Euronymous on guitar. Necro Butcher on drum. Uh, sorry, Necro Butcher on bass. And then Hellhammer on drums. I almost messed that up. Um, anyway. Um, so, the album starts off with uh, the song Death Crush, which uh, the first, like, majority of the first half of this album is just uh, re recorded versions of the songs from the Death Crush EP. Um, but yeah, so the first song is Death Crush, um, yeah, this is, uh, um, a really good one. I'm not gonna spend too long on most of these, uh, s uh, songs because I have, you know, for the most part, again, for most of these, I have, you know, already talked a, a lot about them, um, when I did other, you know, Mayhem-related reviews. Um, but yes, as for, uh, Death Crush, uh, pr pretty good way to start off this, uh, album. Um, it, it, it doesn't... It's not technically, I guess, you could say classic mayhem uh, in terms of the musicality because this is a little bit more thrashy, almost death metal kind of. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it, it's a pretty good song and I do uh, uh, really like it. Um, next up, uh, again, going with the uh, uh, um, Death Crush EP songs. Uh, next up is Chainsaw Gutfuck, another really good one. Um... <clears throat> the first two <clears throat> um, Death Crush EP songs, they, they kind of have a similar guitar riff. Not exactly the same, but uh, similar enough to where if you're not paying attention, uh, uh, you know, Death Crush going into the next song, you know, you might not realize at first that it's the next song. Um, but, you know, they're still good, even though, again, the uh, a guitar riff is somewhat the same. <clears throat> Alright, the next song is called Necrolust. Uh, again, another one from the Death Crush EP. Um, this one's also really good. Um, although I do, I, I do think it ends too abruptly. Um, but yeah, otherwise great song. Um... The last song uh, from that's on here from the Death Crush EP, uh, Pure Fucking Armageddon, very good, although, <clears throat> for whatever reason, uh, the intro bit is not here. Uh, as, as most of you know who already, you know, have listened to the, de the uh, Death Crush EP, uh, before the song um, Pure Fucking Armageddon starts, uh, uh, there's a little intro, uh... Of the singer, you know, saying, join us in pure fucking Armageddon. That intro bit is not here. Um, I don't think, if I remember correctly, hold on, let me get this out really quick. Um, I don't think, uh, I might not rem be remembering this right, but I don't think, wait, no. Oh yeah, it was. It was on the, uh, the intro to that song was on the version on the Hen House recordings, you know, as well as the, uh, dead version of the, of the Death Crush EP. So, it kind of surprised me that that intro bit, that was on both of those releases, you know, as well as, I believe, hold on, I'm getting this off, and I, as well as, the, you know, this live album, uh, the intro is not on, um, out from the dark for some reason. It's not on the song, the version of the song that's on here. Um, yeah, sure, that's a minor nitpick, but it's just something I've noticed. Um, but yeah, otherwise, great song, just kind of missing the intro bit. 
Um, the next song is a song that was not on the Death Crush EP and not on, you know, uh, D Mysterious Dom Satanus, and that's the song Carnage, which, actually, hold on, going back to the Hen House recordings really quick, uh, oh, I don't know what that was about, um, yeah, okay, yeah, it first appeared on this, on the Hen House recordings, um, it, it's, it's a decent song. I don't think it really sort of stands up to most of the songs on the album, but, you know, it's okay. Um, you know, it, it, the riff is sort of catchy, but, you know, whatever. It, it's, it's a decent song. Um, alright, now, the next three songs, uh, um, only one of them appeared on the Hen House recordings. Um, anyway... So, the next song after that is Funeral Fog, which is a classic Mayhem song. Um, but, you know, uh, on this recording, uh, it's dead on vocals, which I actually prefer Dead's vocals on this song uh, um, compared to Attila's. Although Attila's vocals on Down Mysterious Dam Satanus are good, I, they, they just, I don't know, they're good, but I do prefer Dead's vocals. Um, but yeah, Funeral Fog, great classic Mayhem song, and it's really cool to hear Dead singing this one. Um, also has probably my favorite intro, uh, uh, sort of intro, I guess, riff-esque thing to a, a Mayhem song. Uh, I just really love that atmospheric intro that, you know, just f flows very nicely into the actual song itself. Um, next up, uh, my favorite Mayhem song, Freezing Moon. Uh, again, very cool to hear Dead singing this one. Um, of course, uh, it also has my favorite Mayhem guitar solo. But yeah, the song overall, fantastic song. Um, and then the last song is Buried by Time and Dust, another classic Mayhem song. And again, very cool to hear uh, Dead singing this one as well. Um, but yeah, so before I get to my overall thoughts... Um, I uh, talk about the you know the packaging and everything a bit. Um, so the artwork is not really artwork; it's just a photo of dead. Um, although I do think that uh, I don't like the coloring of the photo. Like as you can see, it's very faded. Like they have like a greenish gray wash over the actual picture itself. Um, but the picture itself is pretty cool. But the, there's this weird sort of faded green gray wash on it. That make that makes it makes uh, the picture hard to hard to see from uh, from a distance. Um, so it, it, it's the same kind of uh, aesthetic on the back as well. Uh, you can see the just the continuation of the photo uh, from the front. You know, the, just the background. But again, that greenish gray wash really sort of kind of it, it kind of messes with the actual you know photo. Not maybe the back, but the front definitely because it's just kind of weird. Um, I really wish they you know wouldn't have had that effect over it, just to have the actual photo itself, you know, not manipulated it with, with any kind of, you know, you know, again, the greenish gray, gray wash makes it all kind of, kind of hard to see from a distance. Um, of course, you've got the classic Mayhem logo there, um, and then Out From The Dark, as well as, you know, oh, wait, oh sorry, the, sorry, the camera's flipped for me, so, uh, when I'm pointing it, I have to, you know, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, okay, right there. Um, this, this, and then has this, this is not on the actual case itself, it's on, you know, the plastic wrap, but, uh, it just, uh, basically says, you know, 180 gram vinyl, um, out from the dark, and it has little, sort of little, um, I guess, information there. Um, the back of it just, uh, it's just a track listing, as well as, you know, again, the logo and, you know, the band members, uh, you can see the credits right there. Um... Now, opening this up, hold on, there's some more to it. Well, let me get this out of here really quick. Um, opening it up and looking at the actual vinyl sleeve, um, it's really cool because they also have, you know, another sort of, it's not the exact same photo uh, on the front. It, uh, Dead's just in a different sort of position. He's just sort of there um, on the front, and he's just kind of like, uh, like that, and then on the... Uh, vinyl sleeve right there um, as well as the back which has a pretty cool illustration right here
Um, so, overall, uh, even though this was recorded, these demo, I guess demos or rehearsal recordings were recorded the same year as the Hen House recordings, the audio is so much better. Like, on the Hen House recordings, the audio was so bad to the point where the, the, the instruments sounded like just, you know, white noise, and Dead's vocals were almost impossible to hear to the point where you could only, like, make them out from time to time. Um, but here, the audio is, even though it's not, I guess, like, perfect audio, the audio is definitely a lot, like, ten times, or ten thousand times better than the Hen House recordings. Um, also, the track listing is a lot better, too, um, considering that you have, you know, three of the classic, you know, Mayhem songs sung by Dead instead of Attila. Um, overall, uh, as for it being, you know, again, a collection of demo, demo recordings slash, you know, um, uh, rehearsal recordings, it's very, very good. Um, I'm gonna actually give it a 10 out of 10, to be honest. I again, really good audio for what it is, as well as, uh, uh you know, the classic, you know, uh, Death Crush songs on here, as well as one that, you know, wasn't on the EP, as well as, you know, the three classic Mayhem songs sung by Dead. So, you get a lot of really cool, you know, songs on here, with, you know, pretty, pretty great audio for, you know, for demo recordings. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this, this album. Uh, again, great audio, great songs. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. That's about it. So, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.